Okay, so number 24 says the function j minus f. So j is, let me remind myself, that log, right? So that would be log base 2 of x minus 4 minus f of x, which is the square root. So the square root of 5 minus x. So in imagining their domain, um, I remember that the log only exists from 4 to infinity. And the square root only exists from negative infinity f until 5. Which means they only both exist in that small little sliver of time between 4 and 5. So my domain would be 4 to 5 for that one right there. Okay, k divided by p. So the function k is this square root thing, 2 square roots of x plus 10 plus 3. And p is this quadratic. So 2 times x plus 3 quantity squared. Okay, so first off, um, the first one only exists from negative 10 until infinity. So from negative 10 on, and this one exists everywhere, except now that we have in the denominator, now x cannot equal negative 3, right? So I would say if this one only exists from negative 10 to infinity, and now x cannot equal negative 3, then my domain is going to be negative 10 to negative 3, leaving negative 3 out and going to infinity. And there we go. Number, that was me by the way, not the door. Um, number 26, m composed of f. So m is this original function, 4 of something, or 4 times something, divided by 7 minus something, right? Okay, so this is kind of interesting, because what we put inside there is the function f, which is that square root of 5 minus x. So I don't actually need those parentheses because the square root already is a grouper. Square root of 5 minus x. And again, I can just put the square root of 5 minus x. So this is a little bit interesting because um, as far as like the, st the steps go, right? Number one, step of your interior. Or right, step one, find the domain of your interior. So negative infinity up to 5. Okay, so, okay, so, so far that's my domain. Two, perform the composition and simplify. Um, I did, I plugged this in, I plugged that in. There's nothing really you can do with that, so there we go. Look for new domain issue, step number three. So my new domain issue is that the denominator cannot equal zero. Five is fine, it's just that this cannot equal zero. So what we're going to do is we're going um, to gonna solve this. So I'm going to um, add the square root of five minus x over. Or... Subtract the 7 divided by negative, whichever one you want to do. Then I'm going to square both sides. So 49, oop, I'm going to get that equal to. 49 cannot equal 5 minus x. So then I'm going to add x over and subtract 49. So if I add x over and I subtract 49, then negative 44. So x cannot equal negative 44, so let's check that out. If I plug in negative 44, then I get 5 minus a negative 44, that's 5 plus 44, that's 49, the square root of 49 is 7, 7 minus 7 is 0. Okay, there we go. So x cannot equal negative 44. So step number 4 is put the 2 together. x cannot equal negative 44, and x has got to be less than or equal to 5. So my final domain is negative infinity up to negative 44, and, th and then negative 44 to 5. So, that is our domain. It's okay, I don't think anyone heard. <laughs> okay. Number 27. <laughs> okay. Number 27, this is f of n. So f is my original function, which is the square root of 5 minus x 
and inside of x I'm going to put the function n which is 3x minus 4. Okay, so um, step one, domain of your interior function. The interior function is 3x minus 4 that has a domain of all real numbers so there's no restrictions there. Step two, perform the composition and simplify. So I can do one more thing to simplify. What are we doing? Okay. So we can subtract the 3x and then distribute the negative, so plus 4. So this actually just becomes 9 minus 3x, or negative 3x plus 9. So I did that, and then step 3, look for new domain issues. So my new domain issue is that I've got a square root, um, and anytime you have a square root, you got to take the interior and set it greater than or equal to 0. So 9 minus 3x has got to be greater than or equal to 0, which means negative 3x has got to be greater than or equal to negative 9. X has got to be less than or equal to 3. So if I divide by negative 3, I get that. Which means this is saying x has got to be less than or equal to 3. So then step 4, combine 1 and 3. So x has got to be less than or equal to 3. So my domain is negative infinity up to 3. And there we go. Which means any number in between these two, I can plug in and I would get a, a real number. Anything, anything past 3 would give me an imaginary number. Okay. M of P. So, my exterior function is M, which is this rational function. So, 4 of 4 times something divided by 7 minus something. And that something is going to be this quadratic for P of x. 2 times x plus 3 quantity squared. And so I don't need that fences. And I'm just going to change that to a times. Okay. So, um, I'm not really going to do much else with this expression other than I can multiply these two and say 8 times x plus 3 quantity squared. But the denominator I'm going to leave as is, although I could expand x plus 3 times x plus 3, distribute the 2, and subtract it from 7. Um, I'm going to call it good. Because we don't need to do that. So step 1, find the domain of the interior function. The domain of the interior function, that quadratic was all real numbers. Step 2, perform the composition and simplify. We did. Step 3, is find the domain uh, like any new domain issue. So here's where it would have been it would have been a problem. If I had expanded this and then said it great or solve for when it equals zero, it would have been a little bit more annoying than if I leave it in, in this term or in this expression. Because what I know is that the denominator cannot equal zero. So if I leave it like this, then I only have a single x and I can solve. So I'm going to subtract seven. I'm going to divide by negative two. I'm going to take the square root, don't forget there's two answers, plus and minus the square root of 7 halves, and I'm going to subtract 3. So this one is a pretty ugly, not that you could see it all the way, pretty ugly um, domain restriction. It's just that x cannot equal both negative 3 plus the square root of 7 halves and negative 3 minus square root, of half, square root of 7 halves. So that would be that right there. So step 4 is combine the two. We got all real numbers and we got this, so my answer is negative infinity to negative 3 minus the square root of 7 halves negative 3 minus the square root of 7 halves to negative 3 plus the square root of 7 halves and negative 3 plus the square root of 7 halves to infinity and there we go I know I did my 7 with a bar through it on that one and not before so Okay? Interesting. G of M. So G of M starts with G, which is my something minus 3 over something, 2 times something, plus 5. Okay? And that something is this other rational expression, M of X, 
So this is a little bit interesting. 4x over 7 minus x and 4x over 7 minus x. Okay, so step one, domain of the interior function. x cannot equal 7. Step two, perform the composition we did. Now um, we need to simplify. Okay, common denominator. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 7 minus x in both numerator and denominator. I'm going to get 4x minus, I'm going to distribute the negative 3, so minus 21 plus 3x over the common denominator 7 minus x over 2 times 4x is 8x plus, distribute the 5, 35 minus 5x over the common denominator 7 minus x. Okay. So I end up with 7x minus 21 over 7 minus x over 3x plus 35 over 7 minus x, and when you multiply by the reciprocal, 7 minus x over 3x plus 35. The 7 minus x is go away and you just end up with 7x minus 21 over 3x plus 35. So 7x minus 21 over 3x plus 35. So that is my final answer for the composition. But then the question was like, do I now have a new domain issues? So step three. Okay. And I do. I have this expression in the denominator. 3x plus 35 cannot equal 0, which means x cannot equal negative 35 thirds. And I could have figured that out if I had just said, well, I know that my interior, 4x over 7 minus x, cannot equal um, negative 5 halves because that's what x could not equal. So if you want me to prove that to you right quick, probably don't care. But 4x over 7 minus x, this is where I remember I said you, you apply the domain restriction to the exterior, of the exterior to the interior, cannot equal negative 5 halves. So if we multiply by 2, you get 8x, and then if you multiply by 7 minus x, you get negative 35 plus 5x. If you subtract the 5x over, you get 3x cannot equal negative 35, x cannot equal negative 35 thirds. So if you just apply the domain restriction of the exterior function to the interior function, then you get that. But, some people that's a little bit confusing. So step four, domain, combine the two. X cannot equal either of those numbers. So my domain is negative infinity, negative 35 thirds. Negative 35 thirds to seven. And seven to infinity. And that finishes up through 29.